So I thought that they opened it in the clearness, but they didn't. Okay, so this is all the boxes was from uh, the company. It's not from the clearness. They didn't open it in the clearness. How you hook it up in the wall without no help and how you do it be before you put the screen. You do the frame before you put the screen so you don't harm the screen in the middle of the work of the, the installing the screen to the wall. Okay, well this is what you get. The up and down, the aluminum and the frame, outside the frame, and left and right. Okay, and you get accessories, and you get the steps, the manual, to install them together, gloves, and all what you need. This is what you get in the package. And this screen alone is come with the, its own packaging. So I will try to fit this first and show you the rest and how you know which one is the in and which one is the out the frame you see there is a XY screen is rotten this means this the the last one you're gonna fit so you put it inside okay and you finish this first this is the first frame Actually, I found out uh, they give you two frames for each packet. This the outside the frame with the velvet in it, black velvet, and this. So this will be in the top, and the one with the like logo is gonna be in the bottom. Okay. Wow, look the logo is very nice, shiny. That is not cheap look it's very nice so you have each frame one out out frame and one in frame to each package and <clears throat> and they give you this the middle okay the middle support and they give you this the wires to enter inside the screen itself okay and as I said, they give you one with the velvet material and one with none. This will be left or right. You let it like you put them all together like this. And after that, you bring the connectors and you connect the corners. And I will show you which connectors. And the connectors is the black one. Okay. The black one. And just take your time with them. Try to for put them first. Okay, and after that you tighten them. to leave them like this four of them and after that 30 the screws and the screws they are all one one screws and the screws they will be this ones and as well they give you screwdriver so the screws they will be this ones and, <clears throat> and my advice for you try to don't tighty the screws first put them like for like three teeth, four teeth, like that, there, and lay them loose, okay, to finish the rest. So after that, when you come and you adjust for this gap, it's gonna be perfect. First, put them all. Don't tighten the screws because sometimes like the the holes go a little bit far because if not all of them the same, the same side. So let them loose and put the screws by your hand. Don't tighten them like a little bit do the rest and after that tighty the rest and uh, when you finish all the screws you're gonna left with two screws this belong to the 
middle support here cruise and I didn't tighten so after that I kind of come back and adjust the corners to line up together is better now the screws they are all locked not not tight and why I do them with my hand so I don't uh, do it wrong the screw after that you row like it's gonna go like you ruin the pace of the screw so do it with your hand so you make sure it's go perfectly okay and after that you do the the line and tighten them each one each corner so now you can first you hold the corners exactly together okay and you tighten the screws so you see when you tighten it's gonna be perfect line and the corners there is no gap there is nothing they are perfect together in the end when you did all the corners now you do the middle one okay you tighten the middle one so it's gonna be perfect okay here what I what I did I put just the frame one of the frame so I know exactly the picture is gonna go in in the frame because there is this taken out from the frame this size so the picture is gonna start from here inside so as I told you I'm gonna do the screen installation before I put the screen the original screen and the out out frame first it's gonna be lighter to control it second I'm not gonna harm the screen I finish everything I finished the, making the like the bracket for the wall and everything so there is no dust there is nothing and after that I will install the frame I finish the inner frame and now I know <coughs> the picture is gonna be the frame size is about one finger so the pictures go in here okay so what I did here because I know this is the middle so I gonna make a hole I want where is the middle of my screen in the wall this is the, the projector is here so we said maybe the middle somewhere there so I gonna do the the hole here and I'm gonna hang it and I'm gonna see the level of and adjust 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 until when the picture is inside inside the the screen after that I will uh, mark where is the hangers will be in the wall and it's gonna be easy after that I gonna fit the screen and it's gonna be easy for me to hang it before I put the screen first so you don't destroy your screen you finish everything you finish the like the bracket for the wall everything okay and after that you fit the screen and it's gonna be easy to adjust as you see I put the screen okay and I hang it with one screw I know this is the middle now I'm gonna check check the level I'm gonna check the beginning of the project from the screen from the projector and the top and I have some material like from the old screen I'm gonna put it so I know exactly where is the picture after that I mark the place where is the hunger is gonna be and if I read if I need to adjust up I'm gonna tighty this okay and when I finish I'm gonna fill the screws where is the place of the screw and I fill it with filler and paint it and that's it is gone this is the easy way now as I see the screen is gonna need to go up I'm gonna tighten this rope to bring it up and see exactly where where the perfect place and see the level and do the hangers now 
uh, what I see here now is perfect line in the top and very good line in the bottom so now I know exactly this the place will be the best for the bracket okay because there is I can adjust I know there is no perfect here no perfect here but I know the line this is the line here it's gonna be perfect the corner after that you don't forget you have adjustment in the legs of the projector so you can adjust fine fine and you can do fine uh, tuning as well here so now I take the material and I see the level and I mark uh, the two hangers so after that when I hang it it's gonna be very easy for me to hang it okay thanks now I took the material and now I come here and do the adjust to see so this is the perfect okay now I bring this in marker and mark where is it exactly where I have to fit it and make the marker and make the holes so you see I make the markers you see the level is not because uh, I have to adjust it and hold this make the marker and leave it make the holes put the bracket put the mark uh, the uh, another bracket okay and uh, hang it before everything perfect I fill the screen so we did the hangers and we have to check them level as well they have to be leveled okay I will do the another one now as you see they are leveled with three screws three screws I'm gonna take this screw out that's it I don't need it and I will fill the place okay now just we're gonna hang it to make sure everything perfect before we fit the screen as you see it's fit perfect and try the hangers don't do them near here or near this corner no do them in the middle why because if you want to move the screen left and right you have place enough a place to move them okay and you see the level is perfect now before you do anything you hover your place don't leave anything in the floor okay you take your tools away because the screen is very delicate so we have to take care of it and you hover any dust anything because if you see the drill left a lot of dust okay and after that when you finish because the velvet as well you don't need to dirty the velvet material okay the coat because if you left dust is very hard uh, to clean it after okay now you have to wash your hand very good wear your gloves okay and we open the screen and the screen is gonna have a mark in the corner said down side or bottom or whatever like down I will show you so when you fit it you have to fit the frame to this area the the down is gonna be down for the as well for the logo so pay attention for this so as you see and this indicate is downside so this is go to the downside okay and now you bring your frame and you put it in the top and I will show you how you start it and now when we put the frame here in the floor try to the surface is flat okay and this is the downside 
and when you bring the the frame out out frame with the you have to pay attention to the logo the logo should be done now we start to put the wires to the material to the screen material this is for support for hangers the small spring hangers and we're gonna start so after we put the wires for supporting the hanger now what we're gonna do we use the silver because as you see some people they confuse why there is a silver why there is what the different there is no different but this they have to go to the corner you see each corner has two so this you start with you start with this corner after that the corner in front it okay opposite and you start with this and you go opposite okay let me do it so I finish all this brink what I told you to start with the corner don't don't start with the corner they are very hard and they're gonna pull another corner if there is nobody uh, opposite you so start with this because they are not uh, strong so start in the middle in the middle from there in the middle from there in the middle from there after that go around like uh, adjust them okay now everything is done just has left the outer frame and I'm gonna start this from the bottom and this is the top okay for the outer frame I advise you you put the this little Allen key screws first okay put them but don't tight them let it flat here okay so it's gonna be easy to fit after that you slide them to here from top and down and you bring the middle one and you put it and you put and after that you tighten everything around okay and the same story don't tighten them so hard first do the corners after that go around and tighten everything as you see everything done it's beautiful and you see there is no all straight okay everything now just the I hang it there okay this is all done only myself no help everything everything done properly I hang it it's very easy just hold it from down from here down because this is there is a support hold it and you don't have to see where you go in the wall all what you have to do put the top in the wall and slide easy 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 down because the hangers they are not gonna touch the screen because they are far from the screen and just try to come down easy, easy put it down okay so now everything is perfect just let me see the level the level is perfect okay let me turn on and see what the story and this is the result the picture exactly this with the keystone to know your picture is right this is a few adjustment I can't do and how you know you done this good when you come to reset the keystone you see now reset the keystone so it's perfect straight so you are not gonna have an issue with the 3d with this so this is perfect and you can adjust it as well with the final tune like a little bit like this one you see or put it back 
reset it anyway i hope this video helped you and uh, thank you for uh, the xy screen company they are very helpful yes i have some trouble with the clearness uh, here in ireland and they delayed about one month and a half until when i get it today so today i have nobody to help me to fix it so i fix it my own and i show you the method of you hanging you have because you can't if you don't have somebody with you to hold here and hold here it's impossible to know exactly where you put it in the wall so the method of like the hanging with anything you hang it with a screw or with uh, anything and you see i fill it already i did the filling this is the best method to know exactly where is your screen is gonna to go to the wall and it's not uh, if i did it you will then you're gonna do it is very easy okay and as i told you the silver spring don't use the silver spring uh, in the beginning no because they are very tough and they are very hard they are for the corner start with the springs from the middle and opposite and give it wiggle for for the screen so the material is gonna take adjust to the both side after that start from here middle middle spring after that you go around and around and adjust just in the end do the corners with the silver okay thank you very much and any questions any any if you want any help just let me know thanks thanks bye bye